And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at the worst game ever. I know, I know, they named it that so that, you know, people say, yes, but what's it called? As <clears throat> someone might have said to me. Uh, the worst game ever is made by Gorilla Games. And so, you gotta figure with a name like that, it's either a parody game or they're calling it that already so that they can save themselves when you might say that anyway. Is the worst game ever a bad game? Well, let's take a look at how it plays, and we'll be back. Okay, first of all, the game comes with these chips here. Blacks are fives, reds are one. Everyone gets a certain number of chips to start the game. You have a die. Everyone starts with a handful of cards and the game begins. On your turn, the first thing you do is from the chips that you have, you must ante one chip into the middle into a kitty. You then draw a card and add it to your hand. Then you attack somebody else. When you attack someone else, you basically say, I'm gonna attack you for three chips. You then roll the die and you need to roll that number or higher to get that many chips. So here I would get nothing. Had I said two, I would have got two chips, but you know, I was greedy. So you could say six, but then you're gonna actually need to roll a six. This will continue until one player has lost all their chips. When that happens, whoever has the most chips at that point in time is the winner of the game. Now, that's not the game really. The game is about all these different cards and the cards you can play cards whenever you're allowed to play them on your turn. So let's take a look at some of the cards that can be played. Here's a Meta Alliance. You can play this to cancel a card that targets you, that would target someone other than you, I'm sorry, or one of your cards in play. And then the original target puts this card in their hand. Um, we have games here like The Punnery. You play this when someone else makes a pun. You both draw a card and take three tokens from the kitty. Here's an obvious fake. Uh, play this card as a copy of any card that's in play. Uh, here's take backs. Play at the end of your turn to undo the turn entirely and start it over. Now you're gonna notice that these are, if you play any sort of games, these are terms that people use during games. For example, rich get richer. All players with fewer tokens than you need to give you two tokens. Um, so it kind of falls into that, or half-baked prototypes. This cancels a card that doesn't have more than one color on it. Then there's cards that are just silly, like this inside joke. The last other player to laugh after you play this card must pay you three tokens. <laughs> you know, things like that. But there's a lot of things that are meta in the game too, like this one here. You play this when someone else complains about anything in this game. And then they have to pay you and the owner of the game three tokens each. You know, this, is a, this really is the worst game ever. Or things like this, theme, which has no effect at all. It's just a card. Or you can play this when someone is messing with one of your cards. They're a card abuser. Or when someone else quotes a movie, which I'm sure doesn't happen in your game groups, but happens in mine. There's a blank card in the game. There's a card about table flipping, uh, which, you know, doesn't actually happen. Or I hope not happens in your game. And so it's really kind of, you know, just things that people talk about in games. Here's a random stuff. There's promotions for other games from the same company. There's terms like this Euro card here, um, or I already paid. Things that people say during the course of a game. And so you're just playing all these cards. There's even one humorous card called a, the print miss, or it's a misprint. Even on the other side of it, you know, it's deliberately misprinted. Um, so these, the, how you play the cards, when you play the cards, is what's going to take up the whole game. Anyway, as I said, when one person runs out of chips, whoever has the most chips at that point wins. To be clear, the worst game ever is not a good game. It's probably a bad game. And it's because there's really just craziness going all around, right? You attack someone, you roll a die. You, these cards are being played all over the place. You don't know what the game is. I will say that very few people complain about the game once they realize there's a card in the game that punishes you for complaining. I personally like cards that punish someone for being on their cell phone, one for someone who neatly stacked their chips, and one for someone who told someone else what to do. Hilarious. And that is where this game is. It's in that weird 
it has this very sp specific audience, but I'm not sure that it's going to really satisfy anyone. See, there's a this game has a similar feel to games like Munchkin, another take that games where you are going after other people and playing cards after other people, but uh, it, it then has this theme on it that's very meta. It's all about gaming and all the terms that we use as gamers. And so a, a, a casual gamer won't understand what many of the terms mean, while the gamers who do understand what all these terms mean probably aren't interested in the mechanisms of this particular game. So I could see getting this game as a joke or as like something that's highly entertaining to do at a convention or something. I, I might bring this with me when I go to a convention somewhere because I think that that would be a fun time and place to use it uh, because there's people who know what, you, know what all the terms are, there's laughing and joking, and no one really cares if it's a serious game or not. But it really isn't a great game and it has that very limited audience. It's for people who want to laugh and talk, and I, and I mean, I laughed a lot. But the jokes in this game will wear thin after five or six playings, maybe even after one playing. Uh, so uh, I think uh, this one's kind of a weird one for me on recommendation because I'm not really recommending it. It's not that great of a game. But at the same time, I know there are some people who would love these in jokes and everything and get a really big kick out of it at least a few times. Face to our judgment, I have no idea. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door! Yeah. Yeah.